Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the 17th of August, Wednesday, and today I'm just waiting for one of the local residents from the village of Taman to come collect me. We're going to head out to his little village. We're going to walk around and we're going to see some of the sites. The, uh, it's an ancient village. It goes back to uh, 595 AD. And join me to the end because there's a special little treat. I'm going to find a cure for something that ails you. Very simple. So stick around and we'll see. So now we'll just wait for him to show up. Hi everyone, I'm in the car with Peter. He's the good uh, chauffeur right over here. Hello folks, say hi to Peter. We're gonna head off to uh, Tamon in the village. I'm gonna show you the uh, St. Fintan's grave, walk into the village itself, a few places, head down to the hand, uh, handball alley, and then over towards uh, St. Mun's Bed and uh, St. Mun's Well. And then we'll walk back into town and maybe uh, have a point of the black stuff there soon. So uh, I'll just stop it now and we'll enjoy the little ride there. So we have arrived to uh, St. Fintan's uh, graveyard. We're going to have to get out of the vehicle and take a walk around. Yeah, so now obviously your mother and father are here. Yeah. Now, has this always been the graveyard here or was there one by the, yeah, the chapel is, more? There is um, actually about six graveyards in the, in the small proximity of the village. Okay. Yeah, but this is the main the main graveyard. Out of the older graveyards, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you also have a pattern each year, uh, usually it's in August, eh? Yeah, the last Sunday of August every year. Last Sunday in August. So we're getting up to it there, close to it now, yeah. eh? 28. 28. So everyone will come and take care of their yeah. their plots and make sure that it has flowers and... Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, just up at the top here, there's um, people who lost their lives in World Wars there. Yeah. Their names are on up here. Did, they were, they fought in the wars, is that it? Or? Yeah. Yeah. They come to parish around here, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh. You're all right. I'm collecting as I go. All right. Rachel, I didn't know. Sorry. Ah, uh, fair play to you. I didn't know. What no, you're grand. You're grand. Just well, I was going up with it, and I was thinking, well, so they're not as dead looking as the others. Yeah. Maybe if I, I don't know whether I should put it back on, I think I'll get rid of it. Yeah. Well, they're coming over the next few days. The uh, cairns are coming anyway, so I think they'll cover enough, the yeah. new grave with a bit of green yeah. or yeah. something yeah. for the pattern, you know. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is Mick. Mick is on YouTube. We're doing a YouTube Rachel. video of uh, Taman Village. Excellent. Yeah. Good luck so, with that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm Rachel. going around to different parts in, in Wexford first, and then I'm going to go to Ben Nevis in uh, September, and then next year I'm going to Nepal. So yeah. I'm just, okay. it's just yeah. like a traveling. And what attracts you to Taman? Are you friends? Do you well, know? no, uh, my partner's uh, the niece of uh, Peter. Okay, here. there's yeah. a connection. Yeah, so I. Yeah been to the few patterns yeah. here and yeah it's a very large yeah. village actually Fiji. as villages go yeah. isn't yeah. it no Rachel just lost her dad there a few weeks ago oh sorry to hear yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you yeah um yeah. just trying to yeah do the right thing the whole time isn't it and yeah it's cute to be just trying to, you know now luckily I only popped into Cairns today and I said look um I need new letter and he said oh yeah. yeah we'll be out there over the next few days so yeah. I'm yeah. hoping that'll be done it's a busy time for me yeah yeah everybody wants everything done yesterday don't they yeah you're enjoying yeah. this weather then? Oh, we got lucky there. The last week's been brutal, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not used to it. No, exactly. Typical Irish, it's too hot. <laughs> Unless you're oh, no, sipping a you. pina colada by a pool, it's not much yeah. good to you, is it? <laughs> no. When you're trying to get out and about and do your normal things. It's kind of hard to sleep too because it gets really warm oh, at night. Yeah, completely. Yeah. We're not built for it here. We have no air conditioning. That one there? So this is the memories of uh, people who died in the parish 
during the First World War. Two different scripts here. Some in for you. Yeah, so the pattern is happens every year. The families get together, take care of their plots, and everyone comes from all over all over the country and sometimes even outside the country once a year to pay respects to their family and it's really it's a good way to remember it uh, you know some people just once they're gone they're gone but the pattern just keeps on uh, keeps them in the memory and the whole family shows up and then they go usually to one of the houses close by they'll have like a cup of tea some sandwiches reminisce just talk about life too so it keeps the family together. So I think it's a very good thing. And most of the parish, especially in Wexford, they have it. It's a big Wexford thing, and I think they also have it big up in Dublin. Um, so not everywhere in the country has patterns, but, uh, but they do down here in uh, Wexford. And that's really interesting. There's your man with a pony going out, leaving. It's a beautiful little graveyard. It's always well kept, and it's also a fundraiser. They uh, they have a, a bucket collection at the doors and going into the graveyard, and where people collect uh, that donate money into it, and it's usually all a whole bunch of notes. And what happens with that is that's used for the upkeep of the grave throughout the year. head up towards the Ball Alley and then off towards St. Mun's Bed and the uh, St. Mun's Well. Like I said, it won't be a long travel. We're practically there already. It's a, it's a rather small village. I think I was looking up the last census that was done in 16. There was about 595 in residents in Timon. So I don't know if it's changed much. Has it increased there or is it pretty much the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's a small small enough village and we're coming up to the monument like this is like the one that we were i was at on the weekend on saturday where is the Re republican uh, remembrance garden well this one is the uh, pearl crane and hogan monument in tamon village and this was all done just recently eh? You got all the benches in and that the last time I was out here with you. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't all done, it was all well, fenced off and stuff. Yeah. yeah, the benches are a nice touch. Yeah, they are sweet over the back end. Now this is this an old marking? Like this looks like it's an older. No, this is probably stuff to be brand new. new. It's just just it's giving it like a look. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that was um, around 1945 foot there. 45, yeah? Yeah. Peter, so it's gone, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We walk around, take a look at the garden. And there we have Irish Pride. It's a, it's a bakery, it's a large bakery. And employs a lot of people in uh, Timon. There's the Church of Ireland in the background and then like I said it's a small enough village and we'll take a walk up through the, the town um, and then we'll go see some other sites okay so now we're approaching the uh, Timon Handball Club it's the ball alley where the they play uh, handball obviously it says it's one of the Gaelic games along with uh, Hurling, football, and uh, rounders. Yeah. Did I miss any? No. So in 1957, the alley was the handball alley was built by all local voluntary labour. Okay. And um, so we have them. Um, there's actually 57 all Ireland medals within the club at the moment. That's very good. For yeah. Small um, village. Yeah. 
uh, probably f maybe a few more now because of lads have won uh, underage titles within the last couple of years. Okay. Uh, so um, there's a young lad going off to scholarship now next week on a handball scholarship to um, America. Oh, very yeah. good. So, yeah. Well, we can go into the the, up, the balcony, maybe. Yeah. So last time we were in there, it was in good nick, eh? Yeah. Considering it was, you said, 1957? Yeah, it's supposed to be really long. All right. Yeah, so here's where you watch the matches. And there's the, uh, the handball alley. Hi lads. Who's winning? <laughs> That's cool. What's up in there? This is a good spot. Uh, it's just um, the scorekeeper or something, or uh, yeah, that's the scoreboard that the lads scored. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Not to mark the games. That's okay. Mind your head. <laughs> and that's just the entrance way there. And we're back out. And then now we're gonna head off towards the uh, St. Muns, right? Yeah. All right. Turn it back on when we get there. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up to where Peter's gonna leave the car because he can't leave it out in there. There's a small little narrow entrance to it. And I'll let him tell us about the plans for this, uh, this trail that we're walking on. There's a few uh, developments that are gonna come to improve it. Like I said, it's not far from the main town. It's a short walk, or took us, I would say, about two, a minute and a half, two minutes to drive here. So. They're gonna have, uh, I think, footpaths put in the whole way. Tell that the ground has been scraped and, and leveled. I'd walked here a few uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, this was all uneven and that. So there has been some work that's already started. And we'll take along a walk along the trail, and we'll see it. And Peter will tell us some local history about it. The origins. Okay. There you can see there's a tractor and excavator there. You see it's not a far walk from the entrance way off the street right up to the start of the trail and here's the sign that tells you about it St. Mun's Way Loop Walk okay so that's the sign and it tells you the loop. It's not a huge, huge loop, but it's a nice little walk. If you come in from the village here, like I said, it's probably about a five minute walk, 10. From the village? Yeah. Uh, 15 minutes. 15 yeah. minutes? Yeah. So, and there's, there's the boys that are doing all the work to make it all more 
that's the building all the yeah. ground down. So you're saying how, they got a grant for this? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. And they all have it all yeah. footpathed in or? Yeah, this is all good, uh, nice to walk on, you know. And So we're just coming around the vent here now. Yep. We have St. Mun's bed. Okay. So as story goes that if you have a bad back or something like that, okay. if you make a visit to here and lie on the bed for three, three times, three visits, it's supposed to cure bad back. So. so I have a dodgy foot, so I'd have to do it three times though. One time's not enough. I thought I'll just it. you for your back. Then. <laughs> <laughs> this is very, very peaceful down here, you know. Yeah, it's not a cedar, eh? What a. Yeah. You can see all the, the floor the way it is. And... Oh, here we are. Sorry. We're at the bed. Okay, let me get up there. Yep. What I'll do. So the cross is in the, in the bed itself. Okay, yeah, you can see the uh, cross made out. Yeah, and the bed looks like the figure of um, a man. Yeah. Which is probably Well, I'll give you uh, this camera. I'm going to lie down and you can take a picture of me with it. So. Okay. So I'll probably uh, let's go to the. Uh... Okay, so. I'm going to head down to uh, the castle. It used to be an old mill. Yep. And um, so my great grand uncle, he do remember the mill working down here, you know. So, okay. Um, it used to be a cotton mill. And how long does that go back? Uh, I would roughly about maybe, um, I suppose it's 140, 50 years. Okay. Yeah. I know the, the parish itself or the, the, the village itself, it was started in, I was saying, I think it was right up, it was like 595. Yeah. yeah. We'd come up, we'd come back around to the well up there. And it was St. Fintan uh, Mon. Mon, yeah. Yeah. And then it came. The, 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 the town got the name from yeah. Chakmon, which yeah. is the house of the house of Mon. Mon. Yeah. So it so, is very nice and peaceful, especially when you're outside. Yeah. It was so hot, and now That's it's right. here. It's like really, yeah, really just pleasant. Yeah. And funny enough, it's like this most thing, you know. It's yeah. Just that, um, and even if it was raining a bit, you wouldn't really feel it because no. of the way that yeah. the, uh, the trees are all. Covering up, yeah, like it goes all the way around. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, like the, um, Rachel, the girl we met in the graveyard. Yes, and she comes out here every Saturday for a walk. You know, yeah, with the dogs. Yeah, yeah, the dogs would love it here. This is not the well, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Wouldn't be drinking out of that. <laughs> A lot of trees that have fallen over and it. Yeah. They're going to, is that what the, uh, yeah, all of them will be, it's just that. Diggers and that are for. You know, some of them, most of them trees that collapsed, they just don't have any roots. Yeah. Really, that's why. Very sandy, eh? Yeah, and, um, like, if you've got a lot of rain, it make them very weak, but them trees are pretty okay. Yeah. They're... But I know cedar does grow in sand, yeah. so. Long to be utilized now, that's the main thing, you know. People, yeah, can come down here and then, um... but yeah, it's nice. It's uh, like yeah. I said, a pleasant walk around, yeah. Um, are they gonna have like a place for like a car park for cars, or yeah, there will be, um, yeah, spaces there, you know, and um, the tables and all, you know, yeah. Even the local school can come out here for yeah. get the kids out of the uh, tree of the yeah. school and it's nice out and into nature. Yeah, we were young, just we don't care like all the time, you know. Yeah. And uh, there's a little bit of fish in the river there, but there's not many fish in there, so 
like well, you used to be, you know. The water's gone down everywhere. Yeah. Like, you see what's happening in Germany there. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they don't have much to do with the path because the path is actually not bad. Like, you can yeah. walk on it fairly. Yeah, it's a pretty good foundation yeah. for a path to put anything on, you know. It's not going to. No, well, it's protected by the trees and yeah. it's a sandy, it's flat, it's not rocky, it's not like you're not gonna twist your ankle in that just walking it. So, normally, this is where you would veer off to the right to go down the trail, right? Yeah, so, we just so we're gonna go up here just to the, to the middle. And, um, and the middle is how, how many years old? Yeah, I would say it's you're going back 150 years, I'd imagine. Yeah, you know, okay. I was reading the legend on the St. Fintan and I basically he came there, he lied down on that tree yeah. out of that stone. And then when he, he had a bad back or something like that, yeah. and he, when he woke up, his back was good. Yeah. And then the well was just down the road right yeah. beside him. And there was a well that automatically appeared. Yeah. So the school, the St. Fintan's National School. And yep. The church is St. Fintan. Okay. So this wouldn't be part of the normal walking part, eh? No. This is only just, just to show, you the show you where the mill was, right? Yeah. We're coming up to it now, eh? Yeah. I'll let you uh, lead the rest of the way. Yeah. So, the river was uh, diverted. Yeah. Through the back here. There used to be um, a wheel there to generate power. So you can see her just down there there was um, a wheel there. You see um, and the, the water was diverted down there to make generate power for the mill. The walls have been yeah, it's fairly overgrown with, uh, with the vines and stuff, eh? Yeah, so it's, um, but it was in use and a little bit dangerous at the moment, you know, too. Yeah. And then it goes on back there. Yeah. Neat. Very interesting. It's way how the, the green have taken over the whole place again. It's beautiful though. Yeah, it is nice, you know, it is nice, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. A bit of history there as well, you know. Definitely. So you can see there's some granite stone in, 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 the, in the building, you know. Yeah. Would that all have been sourced locally, or did they? Yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine so because um, just the fields back there. That was um, industrial sand pit. Okay. A few years ago, it was um, it's pretty sandy around here, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's pretty sandy. So you can see the corners were granite. Yeah. You know, and all. The, on the side there of granite. Pretty steep hill. Wouldn't want to be uh, carrying them down there. <laughs> Plus, I suppose when it was built, they didn't have 
trucks and diggers. They had oh. horses and. That's in the boat. Yeah, water is very still, is not it? Yeah, the water is very calm, very not too deep. Mm -hmm. And that used to be a lot deeper. Used to fish in it. Yeah. Would you come out here a lot as kids? Oh yeah, you just the whole thing. Everybody come down here, you know. Yeah. But hopefully now it'll be used for picnics and all, you know. Yeah. Here's the water. It's deep enough here, though. It's a little bit heavier, deeper there. Creelshire owns the forestry, you know. Okay. Yeah. Now we're back onto the path road, eh? Back onto the path, yeah. Some beautiful trees though, you know the yeah. Yeah. lovely. So it's, it's pretty natural.